hello friends welcome back to my channel so today we are going to talk about another tutorial using docker so in this tutorial we are going to see how we can run drupal in the docker container so if you don't know what is drupal drupal is a pro popular content management system and a web application framework uh, similar to wordpress so it can power you know you can use it for uh, deploying a lot of your website like like personal blogs or even business collaborative applications so you uh, will see in this tutorial how we can set up your drupal site uh, with a backend mysql database on a docker container okay so if you have not uh, subscribed to my channel kindly subscribe like the video share and comment to start, uh, I'm going to use a Docker machine. So I have a CentOS machine which I have a, a Docker installed. So if you don't know how to install Docker on CentOS, please check my tutorial. So we had a lot of tutorials on Docker, how to set up Docker, Docker Swarm, they create uh, containers. So you can go through all those things and uh, subscribe to my channel if you are not done yet. So to start, uh, you know, if I run Docker PS, we don't have any Docker containers running. So first thing is we have to create uh, containers for MySQL, which will be the backend database for Drupal. Then we have to link the MySQL and we have to create the uh, con container for Drupal uh, website. OK, so let me create uh, first the MySQL database. So I'm going to use Docker run. And I'm going to run it in detached mode, it should be hyphen D. And I'm going to call uh, the container as MySQL DB. Okay, so I'm going to call it as MySQL DB. So the MySQL database have a default root password, uh, root accounts, and we have to set a password for it. So the one way is to do that, or you can create your own uh, user account and you can set a password for that. So in this case, I'm going to use the same root account so i'm going to use an environment variable and i'm going to call uh, the environment variable to set the password for it so the environment variable is called mysql underscore root underscore password it's all in capital letters okay and i'm going to set the password as password okay so you you can use any password i'm just using a sample as password and next is we have to call the image for MySQL. So it should be MySQL. I'm going to use the tag as latest. Okay, so let's run this. So just give once again, it's going to be Docker run hyphen D, which is detached mode. I'm going to name the container as MySQL. This is very important because we will be using this in two instances. One is to link this container to the Drupal container, and also this will be the host name when we are setting up the Drupal website. Okay. So just give a name and uh, be sure you remember it. So you have to use it in the configuration of the Drupal. So let's run this. So since the image is not available locally, so it's trying to download the image for MySQL. So let's wait for it to be completed. Okay, so the MySQL uh, container is running. So let's run the Docker PS. So you can see the container is running in MySQL. So if you want to know more about uh, MySQL Docker containers, you can check my tutorial where we have shown how to create uh, a Docker MySQL container and also how to create databases, uh, create, you know, content into it, okay? So here now the next step is we have to create a Drupal uh, container where uh, it should be connected to the MySQL database. So I'm going to again uh, create another container for that I'm going to use hi docker run hyphen D and I'm going to give this container as uh, Drupal. So the name of the container is given as Drupal and the next, next step is uh, we have to link this uh, container to the MySQL. So 
I'm going to use uh, link and I'm it has to be given the name of the container what we have given so it should be mysql db so I'm going to link the mysql db container uh, to the Drupal container okay and I'm going to expose the port 8080 from host and also 80 from the container so uh, when I access the Drupal site from my host it should be 808080 okay and uh, the next step is I have to set some environmental variables so I have to configure the uh, mysql db to connect uh, using the Drupal so it's going to be mysql underscore user so here I'm going to use the root user and uh, another environment variable is mysql underscore password. So this will be the password which I have set in my uh, mysql database container. So it's going to be password which I have set it in my previous uh, container which is be password. Okay. And the final argument is the Drupal image. So I'm just going to give Drupal. So to, just to repeat, uh, it's going to be a Docker container running in detached mode. The name of the container is Drupal. And I'm going to link the MySQL DB container which is running uh, to this container and exposing the port 8080. And uh, we're going to connect uh, to the MySQL database using root and the password. Okay, so let me run this container. So again here since the image is not available locally it's uh, trying to download from docker hub so let's wait for this to be completed The download will depends upon how much is your network speed. So uh, we are almost complete. So let's wait for a few more seconds. Okay, great. So the container is created. So, okay, let me clear out the screen. So, if I run Docker PS, you can see there are two containers running now. So, one for Drupal and one for MySQL. So, the Drupal is actually using this MySQL container as its backend database. Okay, and you can see the Drupal is running on port 8080 from host. So, now we can access this using your our host IP address so if I go check my IP address it's going to be 192.168.145.130 so let me go to my browser okay and if I put the 8080 80, so you can see we are in the initial Drupal setup page so here we need, you can select the language you which you want to choose you can click on save and you can select the installation procedure like whether you want to have a standard minimum or which kind of installation i will go with standard so click on continue so this stage we have to configure the database so my database name is i have to give as drupal because the default database for drupal is drupal and the username is root and the password is what I have set it in uh, the time of uh, configuration. Okay. So if you have given some other username or password, you have to do that. Click on advanced option and this is very critical. Change the local host to your container name. So it's going to be mysql db for me. If you have given some other name, it should be your 
container name and the port is going to be 3306 as by default okay and just click on save and continue now we can see it's uh, installing Drupal so we have to wait for the installation to be completed Okay, the installation is completed. Now we have to configure the site, email, uh, give an email address, set up an admin user password, and uh, that, those configurations. So let's do that. So I'm just giving the site name as my site, and I'll let me give a site email address. So I'm giving like test at gmail.com, but I would suggest you to give some your uh, correct e email address. So if there is a password which is uh, need to be reset or something, it can send the email your email address and I've given the username as admin and I'm going to set a password so my password is very weak but you set uh, you know, something which is uh, strong okay so I'll just uncheck this but uh, you can keep all those things and uh, set your default country time and those information okay great so you can see we are inside the home page of Rupal so it says my site right so that is my uh, name I have given so currently I'm actually logged in with the uh, admin accounts so if I log out this is how the site will look so welcome to my site right so we don't have any content we can log in uh, as an admin to make changes so this is how a normal person will be seeing the web page okay so if I log in okay let me log in with admin Okay, so now you can see that on the top you have different options where you can uh, manage your Drupal site. So let me go to content. Let me create a new content. Okay, so I'm, there are two options. You can give a basic page or article. So let me create an article. So let me try to test article. The test okay so let's say this okay so you can see the content is on uh, like this so if I go to my site again you can see the content here so if I log out uh, and this would be how it will look like a normal Drupal page so you can see test article if I click on it, it will give the content like this so there are uh, more options uh, on how to configure Drupal site you can log in as admin and you can find out more but uh, our tutorial is more on how you can set up a Drupal site using docker container so if you have seen uh, you know we have uh, two container running right uh, one for uh, MySQL and one for Drupal so we have seen how to configure Drupal using docker container if you want you can set even a persistent volume so you can uh, do some hyphen v uh, and you can map your volume from drupal site to your host machine so you have the content saved inside the host machine so that is all uh, for this tutorial so i hope uh, this tutorial is informative for you and uh, thank you for watching i would request you to subscribe to my channel if you have not done yet so kindly like the video share comment 